Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Live Math with Mr. C. So the focus for this video is on exponents. Now multiplication, if you remember our previous videos, is basically the art of adding the same number over and over again. Three times eight means that you're adding the number eight three times, eight plus eight plus eight. Exponents. Exponents is the art of multiplying numbers over and over again. So today we are going to work with exponents. Now, I rarely ever tell people not to watch me, but if you have not mastered multiplication, I definitely would not recommend watching this video. I don't want anybody to get confused. And this video is ideal for people that have mastered the art of... You should have already mastered multiplication if you're watching this video. This is for really sixth grade and up. Um, but I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go over exponents. All right. So here we have 2 to the 0 power, 4 to the 0 power, 45 to the 0 power, 82 to the 0 power. Easy rule to remember. Any number to the 0 power is always going to equal 1. So 2 to the 0 power equals 1. 4 to the 0 power equals 1. 82 to the 0 power equals 1. 45 to the 0 power equals 1. If you see any number with an exponent where it's to the 0 power, the answer is always going to be 1. All right. Now I'm going to talk about now let's talk about if something is multiplied to the first power. Now, any number to the first power is always going to be the number itself. So let's say 91 to the first power, 115 to the first power. I'm going to write some numbers up here. 137 to the first power. Any number to the first power is always going to equal 1. I mean, any number to the first power is always going to equal the number itself. Any number, any number with the exponents to the zero power is always going to equal one. Any number to the first power is always going to equal the number itself. So 95 to the first power is going to equal 95. 115 to the first power is going to equal 115. 137 to the first power is going to equal 137. So any number to the first power, it's always going to be the number itself. Two easy things to remember there. So again, two to the zero power equals one, because any number to the zero power is always going to equal one. Two to the first power equals two. Two to the second power equals whatever the same as two times 2. Because remember, exponents are repeated multiplication. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 squared or 2 to the second power equals 4. Now here's where it gets tricky. 2 to the third power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 equals 4, and then 4 times 2 equals 8. Thank you so much for the like. I appreciate you. I am glad you're watching. So 
So we are rocking with exponents, 2 to the 4th power. That is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We are multiplying the number 2 four times. Now, exponents are different from multiplication. This is not... This is not the same as 2 times 4 or 4 times 2. 4 times 2 means that you're adding the number 2 4 times. 4 times 2 is, would be 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Multiplication is the art of repeated addition. This is the art of repeated multiplication. So these are, these are two very different things, all right? And again, I would not recommend um, doing any um, problems with exponents until you've mastered multiplication. Um, if you're doing, if you're a sixth grader and you're doing exponents as part of the curriculum, you know I would definitely have a multiplication chart right next to you. All right. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. You know what? Let me write them out. Two times two equals four. So people don't get confused. Four times two equals eight. Eight times two equals 16. We got our answer there. Two to the fourth power equals 16. Uh, Epic Luigi, good night. Thank you for uh, joining this live stream. I appreciate you. I'll do a couple more. Forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. I know um, somebody did request that I do um, a video on multiplication with multiple variables. I am going to get to that. I am definitely going to do a video on that. Um, I'm going to do a few videos on just exponents, just basic problems with exponents first. But eventually I will get to that video on exponents with multiple variables. I will get there. We start we start with the basics. Uh, four to the third power. Or four cubed, however you want to slice it. That's the same as four times four times four. So four times four equals sixteen. 16 times 4 equals 64. And we got our answer. 4 to the third power equals 64. Uh, I'm going to do one more and then... Um, then we'll call it a night. I know it's uh, kind of late for everybody. All right, seven to the second power. Well, we'll do we'll do two more. All right, seven to the second power. Same as 7 times 7. So 7 times 7 equals 49. So 7 to the second power is equal to 49. 
Okay, final problem, 10 to the third power. So that means we're doing 10 times 10 times 10. So 10 times 10, everyone that knows their 10 fact, we know, fact family knows that. 10 times 10 equals 100. Then we have to multiply 10 one more time because remember exponents is repeated multiplication, not repeated addition, repeated multiplication. All right, so now we got to end it going do with 100 times 10. 100 times 10 equals 1,000. So 10 to the third power is equal to 1,000. All right, that is my video today. Um, shout out to everybody who tuned in um, and everybody that left likes and comments. Have a great night and we will see you next time.